Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Again, this is Engineer Jom Digia and welcome back to my channel. So sa video na to tayo magsusolve ng mga passport exam problems under the subject General Engineering Mathematics. So meron ako dito ang anong problems. So solve ko. Uh, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga solution ng bawat isa. Upang sa gayon ay ma-recall nyo rin yung processes at the same time, kung lumabas man mismo sa board exam yung mga tanong na to, ay alam nyo na yung sagot. Okay, kung maiba man yung given, Uh, alam nyo na yung process, so ilalapat nyo na lang doon sa mga given na uh, values na nandun sa problem na yun. Okay, so let's start. Number 1, find the equation of the line that passes through the points 0, 0 and 2, negative 2. So, solution for this, we all know na regarding sa equation of a line, meron tayong tinatawag na slope intercept form which is y is equals to mx plus b. So, yun yan. Yan yung ating equation. So, y is equals to mx plus b. Okay? So, since dito, sa problem na to, o sa binigay na points, meron tayong 0, 0. Therefore, yung line na yun, nagpapas sa origin so y intercept or yung b matic 0 so y is equal to the slope ano ba yung slope ano ba natin sinosolve ang slope na yan so yung slope is just the rise over the run so meaning y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 substitute lang natin yan guys yung mga values na yan. So, M is equals to... Balik tayo doon sa given. So, Y sub 2. Ano ba yung Y sub 2 mo dyan? Y sub 2 mo is negative 2. Minus Y sub 1, which is 0. All over. X sub 2 is 2. Minus X sub 1 is 0. So, therefore, your M will be negative 1. Kasi ito, wala na itong mga to. So, negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So, therefore, kung makukuha natin yung final answer, it will be negative 1 times x. Which is, our final answer will be y is equals to negative x. So, nandun siya sa ating choices. Nandun siya sa letter D. So, therefore, our answer is letter D. Okay? So, we proceed to our next problem. Problem number 2. So, problem number 2. Ayan. Simplify the expression. A times B. Yung quantity nila, nakadat product sa C. So, meron tayong tatlong uh, vectors dyan. A, B, and C. So, paano ba sinusolve yan? Siyempre, recall muna natin yung tinatawag na cross product A times B. So, di ba guys, ito yung A natin, ito yung B natin. Siyempre, ilapat na agad natin sa equation. So, nga pala, this is our solution. So, A times B, cross product ng A and B. So, 3I plus 2J So, cross product sa ating 2i plus 3j plus k. So, ilagay natin siya sa matrix i, j, k. So, kunin natin yung mga coefficients niya. So, 3, 2, 0. So, bakit 0 dito yung sa k? Kasi wala naman na z-axis dito sa ating unang vector. Dito sa pangalawang vector, meron tayong 2, meron tayong 3, meron tayong 1. So, let's solve muna sa determinant nito. So, determinant nito is i. So, gamitin natin yung minor expansion. Siyempre, i. So, tatakpan mo to, itong part na to. Tanggal to, tanggal to. Okay? 
So ganun yan. So therefore, uh, 2 2 times 1 is 2 minus 0 times 3 is 0. And then next is minus j dito naman sa part na to. Tanggal to. Ayun. Okay? So therefore, uh, 3 times 1 is 3 minus 2 times 0 is 0. And then next will be plus k. So k multiplied by yan. Tapin natin siya. So k, takpan natin to. Matitira, 3 times 3 is 9 minus 2 times 2 is 4. So pag sinimplify mo yan, ang magiging cross product mo ng a and b will be 2i uh, minus uh, or rather minus 3j plus 5k so meron ka ng cross product and how about kung yung cross product na to i-multiply pa daw natin o i-dot product natin sa c which is ito yon yung binigay okay so paano ba siya so dito na natin siya isulat so therefore a times b dot c is equals to 2i minus 3j plus 5k i dot product mo siya sa ating c which is 5i plus 2k so, 5i plus 0j plus 2k. Okay. Yan yan. So, ang pagdadat product, lahat lang ng mga i, j and k. Pagsasama-samahin lang. So, kaya magiging uh, next answer mo dito. So, a times b dot c will be 2 times 5 Okay, 2 times 5 plus negative 3 times 0 plus 5 and 2. So, tanggal to. Therefore, your final answer for A times B dot C will be 10 plus 10. This is equals to 20. So this is our final answer for this problem. Okay? So, basic na basic lang yan. Ito yung kanyang given. Ito yung kanyang solution. Ito yung kanyang final answer. So, naiintindihan ba? So, nawa naiintindihan. Let's proceed tayo sa problem number 3. Problem number 3 natin sabi, what is the product of the complex numbers 3 plus 4i and 7 minus 2i? So, solution for this, again, basic na basic lang to. So, hiningi again is product ng complex numbers. So, yung complex numbers natin, eto yun. Yung 3 plus 4i, tsaka 7 minus 2i. Okay? So, solution for this, syempre, Ilapat mo muna yan sa equation. 3 plus 4i multiplied by 7 minus 2i. So, gamitin lang natin yung FOIL method. Okay? So, ito, 3 times 7, siya ay 21. Anong next mong gagawin? So, syempre, yung ito. 4 and negative 2. So, negative 8i squared. Next mong gagawin, syempre, itong dalawa. So, 4i and 7, kaya magiging uh, 7 times 4 is 28i and then, pinakalas natin, syempre, itong 3 and neg negative 2i so negative 6i and then ilapat na natin yung mga equivalent ng bawat complex numbers natin 
So, alam naman natin guys, na ang i squared is equals to negative 1. Okay? So, dito, ilapat natin siya. So, therefore, yung product ng complex numbers na 3 plus 4i and 7 minus 2i will be, so, 21, so, minus 8, so, sabi ko kanina, yung i squared is equals to negative 1. So, palitan natin yan, so, negative 1 na siya, plus 28i minus 6i. Simplify pa natin, so, 21 plus 8, so, 28 minus 6 is 22. So, this is positive 22. Ay. So, kapag sinimplify pa natin, it will be 29 plus 22. Ay. So, bakit nando sa pangalawang term yung mayroong I? Kasi dapat natin sundin yung rectangular form na A plus B I. So, this is the real part. This is the imaginary part. So, this is our final answer. For this problem. So, makikita nyo, nandun siya sa ating letter D. So, 29 plus 22 I. Okay? So, let's proceed to our problem uh, number 4. So, problem number 4, what is the slope of the graph? Y is equal to negative X squared at X is negative 2. So, solution for this. So, hiningi guys is slope meaning Kapag slope, if first derivative lang natin siya. So, yung equation natin is y is equal to negative x is squared. So, may given condition na x is equals to 2. Ang hinihingi again is slope of the graph. So, y prime or the first derivative will be negative 2x. E kaso, may given daw tayong condition na x is equals to 2. X equals to 2. So, ang dapat mong gawin, so y prime as you substitute the value of 2 in your first derivative it will be so negative 2 multiplied by 2 so therefore y prime 2 is equals to negative 4 so this is our final answer for our problem number 4 okay so basic na basic lang diba so ganyan lang ka simple yan so, next problem. So, problem number 5. So, given the function f of x is equals to x cubed minus 5x plus 2, find f prime 2. So, f prime 2 daw is the value daw ng first derivative na may given condition na x is equals to 2. So, solution for this. So, again, madali lang gawin yan. Copy mo muna equation. So, f of x is equals to x cubed minus 5x plus 2. Ang gawin mo, first derivative mo. Okay? Kasi f prime 2 sabi. So, f prime x will be, so, 3x squared minus 5. Kasi ang derivative ng 2, 0. So, tanggal na yan. Derivative ng negative 5x is negative 5. So, derivative ng ating x cubed is neg, uh, 3x squared. And then, since may binigay na x is equals to 2, so, f uh, prime 2, substitute mo lang. So, 3 times 2 squared minus 5. So, next, yung gagawin, so, f prime 2 will be 3 times 2 squared is 4 minus 5. So, your final answer, so, f prime 2 will be 12 minus 5 or is, it is equals to 7. So this is your final answer for this problem. Problem number 5. So, we go, we will go to our last problem. Problem number 6. So, sa problem number 6 natin, sabi dyan, the location of a body as a function of time in x is x of t is equals to 18t plus 90 squared. Find the body's velocity at t is equals to 2. So, solution for this so, syempre, meron kang given na equation na x of t na 18t squared plus 9t squared. O, 18t rather. 18t lang pala. So, yan. 18t 
plus 90 squared. And then, syempre, body's velocity. So, velocity is the first derivative. So, d over dx. So, prime lang siya. So, x prime t. Yan ang iyong velocity. Tandaan natin, kapag velocity, siya ay first derivative. Kapag acceleration, siya ay second derivative. Or the first derivative of the velocity. So, therefore, ang mangyayari dyan is derivative syempre ng 18t magiging 18 na lang. Derivative ng 90 squared is 18t. Ayan. And then, since may binigay na condition, so at t is equals to 2, so therefore, x prime 2, yan ay magiging 18 plus 18 na may multiply sa 2. So, x prime 2 will be 18 plus 36. So, magiging final answer mo dyan. So, x prime 2 will be 54. So, this is your final answer. So, x prime 2. Yan. 54. So, nandun siya sa ating letter D. Yan. 54. So, di ba? Napaka-basic lang ng mga sinolve natin na past borders yung problems. So, ang tip ko lang sa inyo para madali yung uh, matutunan at madali yung matandaan kung paano sila solve is ipaulit-ulit nyo yung practicein. At the same time, dapat yung concept paulit-ulit nyo rin aralin. Para di kayo malito, para kapag na-encounter nyo sa mismong board exam, yung mga problem na yan, or kung hindi man yan, is kamukaan yan, ay madali nyo isolve. Okay? So, kung may mga katanungan kayo, don't forget to comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel para kayo updated sa aking mga next video tutorials na yung upload under General Engineering Mathematics. So again, this is Engineer John Digia. Maraming salamat sa panonood and God bless us all.